How's it going, everybody? This is the What Are We Talking About? Lemur and Yeti podcast. And we are here again with Yeti and Lemur. And who else do we have? We have Michael and Nico back with us. Say hi, guys. Hello. Hey, uh, Michael does his signature <laughs> wave at the microphone, which I think we should all consider doing. Hello. Everyone. Hi, everybody. We're waving and we're dancing intensely. <laughs> So today we are going to be talking about our three favorite games, and uh, we're going to have a, a brief explanation for why we like these games, and we're just going to kind of discuss it. And I'm going to have you, Lemur, aka John, as I will be most likely referring to you as this entire time. Because no, serious. no, you've got this. It's gonna, we're going to get it right every single time, and we never fail at anything we've ever done. Exactly. Ever. Ever. <laughs> I didn't lose all my recordings one time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so. so if we're we're gonna go over our three favorites, but we'll break off into probably other things along the way. But yes. that's normal. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, if we're gonna go three favorites, uh, there's a lot of like people's like they use for like the reference as like, oh well, it's uh, Mario, it's uh, Zelda, it's uh, no, none of, none of that for me. Uh, the first one that really uh, was one of my favorite games I gotta go with, and it's probably obvious for Derek, is I gotta go with uh, Ratchet and Clank. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Ratchet and Clank uh, was one of the first games I played. Uh, my mom bought me a PS2, and she bought me like two or three games. I want to say two of the games were sports games, uh, which were probably WWE and probably Madden. And then I was like, what else am I going to get? And so I was like, Ratchet and Clank. And it was the first store, first game that really built up a storied world yeah. with actually fun gameplay at the same time. Uh, and it was the first like game that just well, I got your thrall. That you, yeah. That, uh, I say, they have other games with. that had stories and good gameplay, but... No, that was the first. There was no other game that ever had stories. Or there was no other play. video games. No other games that. actually existed. Yeah. Ratchet and Clank came out... Uh, yeah. it's, uh, Those were all lies. Yeah. Inception. <laughs> <laughs> so. Cool. Alright, what about number two? Uh, number two... See, I started to have a lot of issues with trying to think of the games. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually gonna... Because... If I'm going to say game, I it's harder for me to pick one out of this, but it's going to be the Infamous series also. Nice. Uh, probably number... I want to say number two was the best of them. Uh, number one was really good. They were just great open worlds. You were a superhero with powers, but you also had to choose to be good or bad. And however you picked that, you uh, affected how things would go for you. Um, but that series really just was one of the great series I think that's come out for video games uh, and I just got obsessed with it I when and yeah. Second Son came out for the PS4 too I was like yep I'm getting that that's my yeah. <laughs> I don't well, care the main character has uh, electric powers right like you uh, in the first two the games f- uh, okay. yeah he has he has uh, electric powers yeah which uh, you've always been the, very drawn towards I feel yeah like. that's right <laughs> yeah but I, like that my character. electric powers are better uh, yeah yeah yeah, hands down. Uh, uh, Sucker Punch, why don't you give me a call? I'll help you out. Uh, we can work on the next game. Uh, well, uh, unless they're doing the next game, I think they are, which then they can do whatever they want. Um, so that would be number two. Number three, see, I had a hard time thinking of a third, but I'm going to have to go with um, I'm gonna have to go with Destiny. And yes. the reason I'm going to go with Destiny is not that it's the best game, but it's the game I can think of most that like has me where I'm just totally obsessed with the game, yeah. and that's all I want to do yeah. is play that. That's a good, a great game. Yeah. So Haters those would, hate. those would be my game. three. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's one of those games a lot of people want to hate because it wasn't what everyone yes or what it was no doubt it built buckled under the weight of its own uh, hype <laughs> yeah. for sure. <laughs> so all those are good choices, excellent choices. I uh, I played the first Infamous. On uh, our friend Bryce, let me borrow his PlayStation Three oh, yeah, for that's right. a long that. time. Our friend Bryce, we'll have him on one of these podcasts for sure. And uh, he—he's the type of guy where he bought a, a MacBook Pro, and then he let me borrow it for probably six months, like right after he got it. I'm yeah. not even joking. It was basically mine for six months, and he didn't even. I think I was the one who gave it back to him. That's just how he was. So he had a PS3. He's like, oh, you want to borrow it? I was like, 
okay. So I, bo- I borrowed it. I beat Arkham, uh, Arkham Asylum. I played a lot of Resident Evil 5. And uh, I played a little bit of Infamous. And, uh, yeah, it was cool. I liked... I liked the little bit that I played. I didn't. I didn't get uh, to play it all the way through, but I, I am interested. Uh, I this came out. I heard it uh, uh, around the block. Mm-hmm. Uh, one thing that would be interesting is Sucker Punch, who's known for Infamous. That's pretty much the main game they've ever made. Uh, I don't know if they've actually made anything else. Um, mm-hmm. People can correct me if I'm wrong. But the new word around is that because uh, of course it's a Sony-owned company is there's talks that they are actually going to be making a new superhero game, but it's going to be in their own IP uh, uh, Spider-Man game. Oh, nice. So kind of like a a Batman Spider-Man game made by them, well, which sweet. I think would be unbelievable. By Batman, you mean like how... Uh, how, how they made their own story, made their oh, own Oh, yeah, game. for it, the it, it wasn't, series. It wasn't, oh, we're making a... Yeah. B- game for a movie but yeah, it's going to be its yeah. own thing gotcha that's awesome man but that it, sounds awesome interested to see if that's true very cool alright uh, Michael you, you may have to move a little closer so we can hear you or just speak up um, and Michael why don't you go ahead and hey, that might have been either of us sorry let me check this real quick okay we are having class tonight <clears throat> let me do a retake of that. Um, all right, Michael, what about you? What are your three, your top three games? And and now keep in mind, I, I don't know if I made this clear when I said when I brought up the title for this or the idea for this podcast was what I'm going to be doing is for my top three is I'm going to be picking my th- my three favorite games by which I mean one from different genres, and I'll, and you'll see what I mean by that later on. Just so you guys know, because for me, I can't compare Destiny to Mario. They're just so drastically different. I love those games both very differently, and so I don't know if that affects what you're going to say, but I just wanted to clarify. All right, so Michael, go ahead. What is your What are your top three games? I'm going to put Destiny at number one. Good choice. Excellent. We uh, we all play Destiny together a lot. Everyone's all of us. Destiny fanboys. Yeah. I know. Yep. <laughs> hey, no, we we know that we're not preaching uh, anything that's not true about Destiny. We like Destiny, but it has its issues. So, <laughs> go ahead. Uh, so, Destiny is number one. What about number two? Probably uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. Very nice. <laughs> nice. John, uh, John here got him hooked on it. Yes. Because <laughs> there's going to be countless videos of yes, Yu-Gi-Oh! Yes, yeah, John will be doing playthroughs of that. So. Just represent. endless videos. Hashtag represent. <laughs> okay, well, what about number three? Uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. One. Now you, that's the that's the GameCube one, correct? Yep. Yes. Okay. Now, here's the thing. The reason I'm even asking that, I'm sorry, everybody. I'm I'm a fan of Nintendo. I did not have a GameCube. It's like the only Nintendo system. It's okay. No one did. I know. Like out of, out of the four of you that had the the GameCube, I'm very sorry. <laughs> I actually have. I don't think I've ever played that. That Super Smash Bros. Melee is the only one. It's Melee, by the way, not Melee. <laughs> but again, that's the only one I haven't melee. played, and that's like I feel like that's one of them that everybody is just they love that game, and it looks so good, and they added so many good characters. But like, uh, yeah, I never got to actually experience melee in its full be- beautifulness. Couldn't think of anything good to say. <laughs> so, okay, uh, what what was your second? What was your second one again? Yu Yu. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, okay. And Melee. I don't know. Do you want to elaborate on any of those? Is that just... That's just your top three? Yeah. I okay. Know. I, uh... I'm a big fan of... I played the first Super Smash Brothers, and then I played the Wii <laughs> Super Smash Brothers, and then I played the Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U. And, uh, I'm blanking on what their titles are. Isn't it Brawl and then Super Smash Bros? I think it's Brawl next, yeah. Yeah. I don't. Know, I'm sorry. I like the games. They're fun. <laughs> who's your Who's your favorite character on Super Smash Bros? Do you remember? Marth. Yeah, Marth. Okay. Did you? What would you play, Nico? Nico and Michael are brothers, so. Roy. So okay, Roy. Roy and Marth. They're both Fire Emblem. Yes. Uh, yes are they you are. Fire Emblem fans? 
No, it was, it was they just used those characters. <laughs> so I have to be honest. Before before that game, before Super Smash Bros., there's a lot of those characters I uh, I didn't even really know existed. Like I had seen my cousins playing uh, one of the Metroid games when I was really little, very very little. I have a tiny recollection of seeing the screen and then playing one of the Metroid games. I don't remember which one. But then I, I found out, and I totally thought Samus was a, a dude. And I my friend told me Samus is a girl, and I would not believe him. I, I, I would not believe him. And uh, I just, uh, it's funny. I just, no way. There's no way that this awesome robot guy could be a chick. And uh, he was. And that's kind of the consensus for everybody. Uh, John, what's your favorite Super Smash Brothers character? Uh, Pikachu. I yes, like to that's troll. right. Because I like to troll. Yes, he does. <laughs> uh, my favorite um, is Bowser. I am a, a big fan of Bowser. I like just standing there and calling down a thunderbolt yep. and taking off every person who's like, Stop doing that! <laughs> uh, it's very obnoxious. So, he does a good job of trolling. Uh, and then Bowser, I like... One of my favorite moves is when I have like two lives and the enemy has one life I grab them I do his little like he grabs them puts them on his belly and he belly flops them I will take them jump them off the side of the map and kill them that way and then they die I live because I have an extra life and then that's it all right so now we all know my tactic so when we play just be, be wary of the belly flop the Bowser flop all right so Nico moving on <coughs> What about you? What are your three favorite games, Nikolai? Number one, and even though apparently I'm one of the only four people who had a GameCube, <laughs> was Super Mario Sunshine. No, there Actually, were probably... it was you too, so there's two other guys up there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it sold more than the Wii U, so there's at least five people up there. <laughs> oh, shots fired. I, I have a Wii U, there's, so I'm one no of those No shots guys. fired. That was just all the truth there. Uh, over there. there it is. Okay, so, all right, what was number one? I'm sorry. Uh, Super Smash. Uh, uh, Super Smash. Dang it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Super Smash. Smash. Wait, okay, Sunshine. hold up. All right, all right. Okay, what's your what's your number one? <laughs> Super Mario Sunshine. Okay. Forget that. I ain't editing that out. <laughs> I was trying to That's make Nico look a little more intelligent there, but whatever. <clears throat> all right, now. <laughs> okay, number two. Number Wait, two. you feel free to elaborate. Yeah. Okay. Well, I can say it's Super Mario Sunshine. I actually remember it was like uh, it was like when GameCube first came out. Mm -hmm. We were still pretty young. Yeah. And it was. Um, we went to school and our father got it. He just kind of surprised us. It was like more of a like we just came home. It was like oh, oh look what man. I got. Those are the best, huh? Oh yes, that's awesome. And uh, so we got home from school and then he got me uh, Super Mario Sunshine and he got Michael some racing game. I don't remember what it was called. Mm -hmm. And uh, sorry, Michael, you definitely got the short end of the stick. <laughs> 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 and him being the good brother that he was, let me take essentially both of our turns. And I think the first day I got it, I played the game for about six and a half hours. <laughs> Man, from after I got home from school until I like went to bed. <laughs> nice. Oh man. Sounds like how we play games every day. I, I'm a big, <laughs> I'm a big Mario fan. I love Mario games, and that is one of them that I have not played because again, <laughs> didn't have a GameCube. I played it. Okay. In fairness, I played it for about 20 minutes at my friend's house because he was the other guy. He was number three that owned the uh, <laughs> the GameCube. So uh, I he had he had it, and I played it, and. Um, I guess part of the reason why I wasn't as into it is because I went into it with the thought of Mario 64 in my head, because that's one of my all-time favorite games as well. And uh, I kind of went into it expecting it to be just like basically that with new levels, which is just, I mean, I was a kid, so um, I didn't realize, oh yeah, companies want to do something different to keep people interested. They're not just going to release the same game with new levels, <laughs> basically, is what I was expecting it to be. So. Did you just make a Call of Duty reference? Yeah, I did, actually. And it's funny, I can't, I can't escape it. Uh, brought to you by Call of Duty. Just kidding. Never. No. <laughs> no, no. I'll, I'll ask for that one. Never. <laughs> no, I, uh, I like Black Ops. That's about the last one I played, and I, I still to this day will play Black Ops. The first one. Uh, not that, again, not that there's anything wrong with the other ones, because I don't know. I haven't played them. Because I, I don't have enough money to keep up with all the thousands of Call of Duty well, <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, on to number two. Number two, I'm going to have to say Destiny. Destiny, good choice. 
I just kind of like, you know, like how like they have the race, and it's like it's really, it's really focused on like doing it with with other people. Yeah. You know, so it's kind of like it, it makes you kind of play with others. Yeah. And it's kind of like it's a good like kind of like teamwork game. Yeah. No, I, I agree, especially on the the raids, and uh, we <clears throat> we haven't gotten all the way through the King's Fall raid, but we have played through the um, Crota's End and the Vault of, Vault of Glass, and we got we got up to the War Priest in Destiny. And we were not able to beat him. <laughs> but that was a long time ago, and now everybody is a much higher light level. Um, yep, so yep. who knows? Who knows what will happen? But I love the... And my my wife, she would say the same thing. The reason we like the... The reason I like the, the raids so much is that, just like that, the teamwork, is you have to have everybody functioning, everybody doing their part, and everyone is like, you know, it's like that... That moment when we beat Crota on hard mode, that like moment of pure, like if we had a mic in the room there, it would have maxed out because I I literally jumped to my feet and then we were on our we were on Xbox Live, so Cindy was the only one who saw me at that moment, but because <laughs> we play we have our Xboxes in the same room. I think Duck showed up. And oh man, no, no, that was for the cloak of Tannis. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. <laughs> I will come back to that. Um, but that moment when Cindy was like, "Crowd is down, hit him, hit him," and I just was, I would ran over to him because I thought we were dead. Because you know, in hard mode, when that the when he enrages and then he calls the Oversoul, and Cindy on her screen, he was falling down. And on my screen, he was still standing. So I just went over in front of him because I was going to die in front of him and make, maybe take a funny screenshot of dancing in front of Crota's feet. And she goes, he's down, hit him. And I hit him, and when his body fell into the pieces, I it was just erupted of like, Whoa! I'm like, yeah! It's as if we just won the lottery. And <laughs> like, each of us were going to be like, multi-millionaires <laughs> but it was oh man it, I so that teamwork aspect I totally get it man I love it that is that is a huge draw for me so um any other part of it that, that you really everything everything that's, that's, that's good say, all right <laughs> sounds good all right now number three or was that number three no that's number two. two all right three this was like really, really hard. Okay. I didn't know what I wanted. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm I feel like everybody kind of had this with their like their top three. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Not Michael. Apparently, Michael's <laughs> shaking his head. He was uh, no. I'm good. I know exactly what I like. All right, so go ahead. I'm gonna say Crash Twin Sanity. Crash Twin Sanity. Really? I love that game. That was, that, was that? that the racing game? No, it was um. It's somewhere where you have to like partner up with Cortex it's, and you play uh, the game like. Like almost conjoining mm -hmm. together, and you play through the entire. Yeah, it was that that game was just so awesome. Dude, that you're talking about Crash Bandicoot, yeah. correct? Okay, I uh, I owned a PS One near the end of like PS Two was already out by the time I had one, and uh, I got a PS One, and uh, I I played Crash Bandicoot like at my cousin's house at my, uh, just various people from churches, their house, and I think that was one of them that I played, because you, he's the bad guy, right? The bad guy? Cortex? Yeah. Yeah. That you, you kind of, you're forced to work with him? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. that sounds really familiar, that, and, uh, I wanted to call him Pyro. Spyro? <laughs> I would play that one, too, at, at people's houses. Um, my favorite game from that era, well, one of my favorite games, uh, it's definitely not my favorite, sorry redact that um, <laughs> that it was the spider-man game from that time was awesome i loved that game just, just thought i'd throw it out there <laughs> so okay no well, what funny. was it about that game that you liked i i honestly don't know you don't know they just it, it's it a good just game. it just bright colors yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> it, it, there's just something about it that yeah. was just so fun yeah no i can i can understand that all right, so for me, I uh, I had to take this, and if you ask me any question like this, I kind of have to break them down into categories. Like if you ask me my favorite movies, uh, I have to like 
Okay, Saw there's... Saw 3. Yeah, Saw 3, obviously. And obviously. then after that, The Notebook, and then... The notebook, uh, yeah. And then probably, I don't I can't even think of another. <laughs> but I always have to break it down. Like, okay, well, there's comedy, and then there's action, and, like, I don't know, they don't... Like, Lord of the Rings and Ace Ventura... Not that Ace Ventura is one of my favorite movies. I'm just saying, like, those movies don't... I don't know, they don't compare for me. It's just, like, with me, with video games, I had to break it down into categories. So I'm going to do my favorite from three different categories. I'm going to pick my favorite platformer, <laughs> My favorite first-person shooter, and then my favorite, now this is very random, but I call it a category, but survival game, by which I mean, like, survival. Like, you get the forage, and brave the elements, and monsters. So I will start with my favorite platformer, and one of my all-time, all-time favorite games, if not my favorite game, it's up there, is Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo. It is the game with where you get to ride Yoshi, I believe, for the first time. And that game is so good. So good to this day. I have it on my Wii U. Uh, and back when I still had my, my Super Nintendo. I don't I actually still have a Super Nintendo. Actually, Cindy bought me a Super Nintendo. Before we were dating, she bought it for me for Christmas. And then it was just like, in that moment, I knew. <laughs> no, but it was it was amazing. She got me a Super Nintendo still in the box, and uh, it came with games and everything. And I just that blew me away. I was like, dang! She got it from Bookman's. Shout out to Bookman's. Love Bookman's. Um, again, not sponsored. That's just our own opinion. <laughs> We're open to it though. No. <laughs> Call us. Yeah, call us. We'll be in contact. Um, so she got that for me from Bookman's, and that, that was one of the games, uh, Super Mario World, which uh, there's just something about the the gameplay. Honestly, I would argue that out of the side-scrolling platformer Mario, well, they're all platforms, side-scrolling Mario games, that one has the best controls, and I'm even talking about to the modern 3D side-scrolling Mario games. Super Mario World still has them all beat. Uh, you can the way you can throw the shells and the way that he moves, how quickly he moves, and uh, it's just amazing. Incredible design work. And uh, I, if I could, I actually have a a comic story, a fan comic story that I one day hope to write and release just to show a love letter to this game. That's how much I love this game. I have a fan comic uh, story actually written out. Uh, so that is my favorite platformer. So my favorite first person shooter. Call of Duty. Yes, Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> no. My favorite, my favorite first person shooter is Destiny. And uh, Destiny, again, it, I have to go with Nico on this one. I love, I love playing games with friends. That's the big thing. And I love that Destiny has that social aspect. I'm a big MMO fan, so I love that it has those MMO elements to it. And I just, I love being around other players, even if I'm not talking with them. Like, to see a guy, you know, I'm out on the patrols, and this dude just rolls up beside me and starts taking out Vex with me. Like, that is so cool. And then now bring in, uh, you know, five of your friends doing a raid. That is so much fun. Oh, man. Such a good game. Um, the gameplay is... I, I just... I love how good Destiny handles. Like, I, Out of all the haters out there, you can say what you want about haters the story and whatever, anything. but you cannot say a anything about the controls the, and the way that the game handles. The gameplay is so polished and so good. And... Um, <clears throat> love it. Absolutely love it. Great game. It does have its issues, don't get me wrong. The drop rate on Cloak of Tanix is one thing. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I said we'd come back to this, so I, I'll say it. I, I, early on, in any MMO, I kind of... I The reason I want to play them is to make my character look cool. That is, like, my end goal. Like, all the, all the teamwork and stuff, that all builds up so I can get this gear. Um... So, I early on picked out what I wanted for my hunter. And not knowing what I was getting myself into, I said I wanted the Cloak of Tannix. Now, anybody who's 
tried to get the Cloak of Tannix. If you're one of those jerks that played it for a day and got it, <coughs> Bryce, our friend Bryce got it in one day, made me, and I have been playing it for weeks at that point, grinding that mission, trying to get it. Uh, as Nico will attest, Nico and my wife, Cindy, we played that mission, that strike, over and over and over. I, I, I wish I could... Uh, I don't have the exact number. I don't know if... Is there a way of seeing the exact number? I think you can go on uh, Bungie. Okay. And find it. Whatever that number is, it's really high. <laughs> yep. And uh, that was the first time I ever actually grinded that much in an MMO for a piece of gear. And uh, you can kind of tell the my newbiness with MMOs if, if you're saying that's your... People who are hardcore MMO players would be like, ha! I laugh at your pitiful uh, grinding air quotes and everything. Um, <laughs> but the moment when I got that cloak, <clears throat> spoiler alert, I got the cloak. <laughs> it dropped, and I was sick at the time. With uh, I was recovering from a cold, so my, my voice was kind of going out. And in that moment, I turned into Daffy Duck... Uh, involuntary Daffy Duck ism. That's what I called it. So it seemed very voluntary. It, no, it was involuntary. I had no, I had no control over that point. I was just, I turned into a cartoon. Character. I just felt like you were like, I accept this. Yeah, and so I was doing like the woo 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 over. I jumped up. I ran. I ran to my kitchen. I ran back through the house. I was, I was screaming. I was like, because I, it was finally released. From the the cloak of Tanix, the uh, what is it the what is the what, the mission called? Shadow Thief. Shadow Thief. I was released from the Shadow Thief's grasp, and I never had to see, and I would never get to see Tanix <laughs> ugly mug again. Well, I've played it since then, but I was free of it. Um, and two of my Nico and Bryce both got the cloak, and as far as I know, someone else probably I'm sure someone else got it, and they just didn't tell me because they didn't want me to lose my mind. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> but so yeah, uh, good game. All right, now number three. I'm like spacing now. Uh, I'm going with survival game. In my number three, or not my number three. My favorite survival game is Minecraft. Um, Minecraft is, you know, as you can tell, the phenomenon that it is everywhere. Um, I started playing it. When it was, uh, I think it was out of the, it was early on in the beta process. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember. I remember when you were playing it. It was yeah. a beta time. I, I discovered it through Corridor Digital's video. So it's whoever, if anybody knows Corridor Digital's, uh, the last minecart, it was after that video came out. I found that game through there, and I was just like, dude, this game is so good, <laughs> and. Me and my friend Bryce, we got into it, or as we've already talked about Bryce, the same guy who got the Cloak of Tannix and rubbed my nose in it. Um, we played Minecraft. He actually bought me Minecraft as a gift. It was super cool of him. And I played it on his MacBook. <laughs> so he bought it for me, and I played it on his computer that he was letting me borrow. Um, it was, dude, I, I love that game, and I still play it to this day. Um, there's something about the freedom of it where you can just, first of all, I guess it's, I don't know, being a guy, I like the idea of like going out into nature and, and surviving and, you know, you're going up against the odds. And yeah, you know, I've always been drawn to those survival shows like Bear Grylls, all of his stuff. And, uh, I love that, the idea of that. And then, but with these games, you just you get to sit on your couch and get fat and, and survive off the land and be and then go and eat your Cheetos after you're done. Way uh, to live, baby. <laughs> I um, I it's just it's so good, and you know it, it's reached that point now in popularity where I feel like there are some people who kind of scoff at it because they're like, nah, nah, okay, whatever, Minecraft, that's a kids game. It, it's dude, it's for everybody. And I, that's part of the reason why I like it so much is because of that. And uh, my my brother and his wife and all of our friends, we like all of us got into it. And there was this point where 
we actually came up with our own PvP um, big map where we we would give each other we would go in creative mode and we would build on each side of the map for uh, it was like three Minecraft days. So we built a fortress from scratch on both sides. Then once that that final night went, we put ourselves back on survival, and then we had to capture a block from inside each other's fortress. And we created these uh, all these rules for it, and we even did more games. My cousin created a maze for us to play through, and uh, it was awesome, man. So I just I love that I love that freedom, and um, Minecraft is a great game. So those are my three. Those are my three games. This was very difficult for me because there are so many games that I love, like, right there with them. But I'm just like, these ones just barely edge them out. Um, so, yeah. Um, how, how long are we at right now? We're at, like, 30 minutes. Okay. All right. Um, <clears throat> does anybody have anything they want to add to that? I think, uh, like, in favorite games is I actually think like it is a harder subject to talk about because one of the things is like we said our three favorite games the thing is though is like we'll come back another day and be like oh wow i forgot about that yeah exactly that's a like it's kind of hard to even put this list out there because i know I'm, I'm like i feel like there's something i'm forgetting like there's something out there see uh, for me it's like i was going back and forth between mario 64 and super mario world and then Mario 3 was underneath those for my favorite platformers. Those, th and I always go back and forth on there. I think on my DeviantArt page, my favorite game is listed as uh, Mario 64. Uh, it's Barbie, Barbie Sleepover. It is. I actually have fan art on there and fan fiction of Barbie Sleepover. Mm -hmm. Such a good game. <laughs> Such a good game. Um, Not a money grabber at all. No. Pure artistic integrity there. Um, so it is... It, and. It's a great time to be a video game fan because there are every type of game you can possibly imagine is out on the market right now. And uh, with the introduction of like indie games becoming kind of like a norm now, it's awesome the stuff that people come up with, you know, just like Minecraft. Minecraft was made by just some dude over in Sweden. And now he's and rich and doesn't know what to do with his money. Yeah, he's yeah, literally. Now he doesn't even he just retired. He has, like a, he has like a candy shop in his own house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because why not? Why not? Right? <laughs> if you're that way, am I gonna do all those? <laughs> I'm a candy store. I'm gonna in my house. Candy store. I'm gonna have Hawaiian punch come out of my drinking fountains, just like I'm Mr. Deeds. That's right. Oh, before we go, we can Ooh. real quick. We can sit. What are our our main Destiny classes? Like, what is your main? Uh, that you play mostly. So, John. Warlock, Sunsinger. Warlock, sing Sunsinger. Alright, Michael, what about you? Night Stalker, Hunter. Yeah, nice. Nico? Warlock, Stormcaller. And I am the Hunter Blade Dancer. Which is. He is the Hunter Blade Dancer. What was Dancer. that look for? Oh, two Hunters, two Warlocks, and I just never pieced that oh. together. <laughs> I was like, I'm no so one cares about a Titan. <laughs> Uh, and my Titan's my secondary, okay? Shut up. <laughs> I love Titans. As a man. I love Warlocks, too. I have all three, but my main is a Hunter for, hunter for Life. I can't. Hashtag Hunter Life. Hunter Life. You can use that. Feel free. Uh, <laughs> so, I, yeah, but Blade Dancer is the only subclass on my Hunter that I actually have leveled up. I am trying to force myself to use Night Stalker because... I need to for PvE. I really need to because it, it's a it's a great crowd control when you're doing raids and stuff like that. So we can kind of talk about because we have a couple of <laughs> we're all talking about how much we love Destiny, but Nico and I especially have kind of been we've been taking a break from Destiny lately. We've been trying to find a game that we want to play, so we've actually been kind of giving Destiny a well earned break. <laughs> Because we we were playing that game every day for months, just on end, just months. And I know that there for me that's a lot. I'm I have game ADD where I just like I have to I have to move on. Like I can't stay in one place for too long. And then I come back eventually. 
So I guess we could say like, what are the games that we're playing now? So John, obviously he's playing Battleborn. Wow, that's awesome. And um, <clears throat> Michael, what, you're playing Yu-Gi-Oh yeah. and uh, Ark. And Nico killed every one of us. Yeah, Nico. Well, funny story about Ark. I Ark locked has, in uh, Exodia. It does. Yeah. Yes, uh, the fall damage is the equivalent of Exodia in that game. Oh my goodness, you drop like a foot and you die. And uh, Nico, <laughs> I spawned in, and we we're playing on a non-dedicated server. So Nico was the host, and so I, you know, obviously I spawned next to him. He grabs me with his Argentavis, and uh, we take off, and I'm freezing to death. And Nico <laughs> starts to fly. He forgets something, turns around and drops me, and breaks my legs <laughs> while I'm freezing to death. And I said, Nico, I'm, I'm, dude, I'm about to die. He goes, oh, 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 okay. And like, I, I don't even know if you heard me or not. I'm, I hope you didn't hear me by the way that you just totally, like, oh, okay, that's nice. I'm like, I, if it was real life, my legs are, like, broken and I'm freezing to death. Just like, <coughs> you know, like, coughing blood up. <laughs> I need help. And you're like, oh, no, that's fine. Okay. And then he picked me up and I died in, his, in the Argentavis' claws and lost all of my stuff. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Exactly. It was just like, oh, man. I felt deflated after that. I was like, do I really want to play Ark right now? <laughs> yes. But then I kept playing, yes, and it was did. awesome. Ark is an amazing game. Uh, so, Nico, Nico and I just, like, this week started playing DC Universe Online because they just released it on Xbox One. And, finally. Uh, finally, yeah, dude. I played it a little bit on Steam, and I loved it. And I, ju I just didn't fully get into it. So we've been, we just started that, and then we've been playing Ark a lot as well. Um, any other games that you're playing? Yeah, I, I mean, you're still playing Destiny, but that's just Ark and, and now DC Universe, and I talked you into downloading it. Yeah, pretty much anything I'm playing is whatever you guys are. Yeah, it's like the social. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. That's I've been trying to find a game that I can play with a group of people that I enjoy. So we we went on one day for like it was like two hours trying to figure out the perfect game to get all of us to play. There's actually <laughs> quite a bit now too. There is. There's nice. a lot of good options now. If I wish that we all had good enough gaming PCs, uh, whereas I think John and I are really the only ones that can handle any of those games. Yeah. But there are so many good computer games, like PC games. Sorry, computer games. It sounds like I'm. A mom from the 90s. You playing your computer games in there? Are you playing the Nintendo? It's an Xbox One mother. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's actually what we used to call video games when we were little kids. We called them Nintendo. Just because that was all. Well, that's know. because back in the day, that's what it basically did. was. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. all that mattered. Um, Wasn't it until really the PlayStation 1 that yeah. it became. Yeah, I mean, exactly. So Sorry to everyone who had a Sega. Yeah, <laughs> that's I forgot about Sega. I know Sega. some people are gonna say, "What about Sega?" Yeah. No, no. It's Sega, like, Sega had a few good ones, but yeah. I was definitely a Nintendo man. That's for dang sure. Um, so yeah, I've been playing that, and uh, I, I was alternating between. Uh, I was playing Destiny on and off, and RuneScape. But now that I found DC Universe Online, uh, old school RuneScape, sorry, I had to clarify. Now that I downloaded DC Universe Online, I may be dedicating most of my time to that because I got hooked on it today. I realized that I, I it thoroughly enjoy it. So Those are the games that... that yeah, and we also, the, the week that we're recording this, the Overwatch beta just... Oh, yeah, out. that's another one. Yeah. I, I've been playing the Overwatch beta, and it is awesome. It is so good. I, uh, Battleborn and Overwatch, I, I mean, the comparisons are inevitable. I love both of them. They're both really great games. And, uh, I will say on Overwatch, my favorite characters so far are, <laughs> I totally spaced your name, Roadhog is the big, I believe he's the big pig guy. Yeah, he's the that, big pig guy. I'm just trying to remember if that's his name. And there's a girl with an ice gun, I, I want to say her name's like May. She's awesome. Uh, yeah, I think it's me. I'm not And positive. Reaper. On that. Those are my three favorites. Those are awesome. So good. So any of those games, we recommend. All right, everybody. So I think we'll call that. Uh, this was the second episode of uh, What Are We Talking About podcast with 
Lee Margetti, and we need to get you guys names. Yeah. But Michael and Nico don't sound good. Yeah, yeah. we got yeah. Red Wolf and, and yeah. Workhorse are their their gamer tags, so maybe we should maybe we should call them that. We're gonna be called Workhorse. The Warhorse. Maybe it'll be like Wolf. what are we talking about? The Lemur and Yeti podcast feature. It'll be like the longest title ever, featuring Warhorse and Red Wolf. <laughs> 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 or uh, yeah, yeah, no, featuring. It'll be like a rap song, you know, where they have the extra, yeah, yeah, yeah feet, FT, Warhorse and Red Wolf. So yeah, we'll call you guys that. That will be your, your your handles on here. So Red Wolf and Warhorse. <laughs> I was about to call you Red Wolf and Nico. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for listening. I really hope you enjoyed it. And uh, please check in. We'll be recording more of these. TTFN. Ta-ta for now. Later. Bye-bye. Later, players. Bye. Ah, jeez. I didn't want to play you anyway, jerk. Jeez.